is identified. Biden may be guilty of bribery, honest services fraud, mail, wire fraud, maybe violation of federal gratuity statute. Biden is in deep trouble, as is his son tonight, and it's Elizabeth Warren's primary to lose, as Drudge said. Joining us now with a reaction, the executive vice president for The Hill, John Solomon, and the author of the big new book, Witch Hunt, Greg Jarrett. John, let's start with you. You identified, number one, that they were involved in, well, we know that the DNC was trying to get dirt. We know these senators were involved in trying to get the Ukraine to, to keep up the investigation into all things Trump and Trump campaign. And you got the Hunter Biden thing that you also exposed. Yeah, listen, there were three attempts in 2016 by the Democratic Party to, in the Democratic establishment to get Ukraine involved in our election. So Democrats were for Ukraine interference in our election before they were against it. That is an irrefutable fact. The documents and these statements on the record have been reported in my columns. You can download the documents. Don't trust me. Go read them yourselves. But here's the most important thing. Joe Biden has staked out a very specific story now, and with impeachment proceedings, that story is fair game to investigate. Let's say what that story is. He says when he fired the U Ukraine general prosecutor, Mr. Shokin, uh, he did so solely because he believed that prosecutor was corrupt and not because that prosecutor was investigating his son's company and making plans to hunt, uh, interview Hunter Biden at the very moment he was fired. That's his story. That has to hold up. I can tell you tonight that I have obtained more than 450 pages of documents from inside Hunter Biden's legal team, from inside the State Department, from inside uh, the Ukrainian General Prosecutor's Office, all on the record. These documents call into question every so aspect now, of justice. John, yep. okay, yes. what you're saying here is new. We're yes. going to have big breaking news from you tomorrow, and this is a guarantee we're not going to be waiting three months. You have these documents that you're talking about. I want my audience, this is a great audience of ours, and yes. thank, we can't do this without them. I want them to understand exactly what you're telegraphing here, because huh? this is Hannity Solomon Code. I want to make it, I want to include everybody. Yeah. There are documents uh, from Hunter Biden's legal team, the legal team from America, trying to assist Burisma to get out of this investigation. They show... In, unequivocally, that that prosecution, uh, that uh, legal team told the prosecutors as soon as uh, Mr. Shokin was fired. In fact, the day that Shokin was fired, the Ukraine team, uh, the uh, Biden team was trying to reach the new prosecutor. So people say there's no connection between the event. Why was Biden's legal team rushing to talk to the new guy immediately? But when they got that chance to talk to him, here's what they told that prosecutor. They told that prosecutor the, fall, the story about Shokin being corrupt, not doing reforms, was not true. It was a made-up story by U.S. officials. They called it false information. That means Hunter Biden's legal team, Burisma's American legal team, was telling the prosecutors the basis upon which Joe Biden said he just fired Shokin was not true. Okay, so how many documents, I, I promise, Greg, we have time, we'll get to you. How, okay. how, how many documents are you talking about from Hunter Biden's legal team going to Burisma Holdings and others, and how does it show a cover-up? Does, does it show the vice president's involvement at a deeper level than we previously knew? Well, one of the things, uh, Matt Miller from MSNBC, I think, will be embarrassed tomorrow because he can actually look at the documents, something he probably didn't do when he spoke before today. Today, he said on television, when Joe Biden fired the Ukraine prosecutor, there wasn't even an open case. Well, tomorrow, you can read the open case. You can read the prosecutor's open memo, memos, and specifically what Hunter Biden's legal team was asking the prosecutors to do to end that case. There was an investigation. The media is wrong because they haven't picked up their notebooks and actually done the gumshoe work that it requires to find out what happened here. We are going to see documents from the State Department, documents from Hunter Biden's legal team, text messages from Hunter Biden's own business partner, Devin Archer, who joined him on the board, and the, uh, official documents of the Ukraine government that they've given to me on the record. All these documents tell a very different story than Joe Biden's narrative to the American voter. Oh, well, first of all, this will be the top of the show tomorrow night. <laughs> Stay right there, John. Greg, I want you to absorb all of that, and let's look into the legal aspects of just what we know today. Go in any order you want, which is we have Joe Biden on tape. You want, you're not getting the billion dollars. You're going to get the billion dollars. You've got to fire that prosecutor. You're going to fire that prosecutor. No billion dollars. you got six hours. Son of a bee.
They fire yeah. them. You know, it's amazing how either clueless or obtuse or arrogant Joe Biden is to brag on camera more than once that he was extorting Ukraine to the tune of $100 billion in American taxpayer funds in what I think John's documents tomorrow will prove was an attempt to benefit his son. It is a crime to confer a benefit in exchange for something of value or to impeachment anyway, with no knowledge. Well, just stop and think about